everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. And today, I'm in Times Square, and we are gonna go check out like a new, um, I guess exhibit is what you would call it, called Rise New York, or Rise NY, which is right behind me over here. And it's being described as part museum to New York, part film, part ride. Because there's a, a section of this that you, you're in seats and it lifts you up and there's like an IMAX screen and you know, it, the way it's described reminds me a lot of Soren in Disney. So I wanted to come and check it out. So I'm not sure how much of this I can show, but I'll show as much as I can. So let's go check it out. Here is the placard for Rise and here's the barcode for more info. <laughs> There's like projection all around. There's projection up front and projection on October 27, 1904, at 2.35 p.m. precisely, in a gleaming new subway station, 30 feet below City Hall, Mayor George B. McClellan, the son of the famous Civil War general, officially opened the first subway in New York. So when you get out of the film, you exit into a subway car. This was so cool. And it was like the projection lined up to be just like the subway doors and they opened and that was awesome. Look at that. So this sign is talking about the original trade routes that existed in Manhattan when the Dutch West India Company came in, when the Lenape Native Americans were living in New York City before it was New York City and then how that evolved to the first banks and the stock exchange. And it talks about this guy here, Alexander Hamilton. So we're at the New York Stock Exchange and, and there's a bell here. I did it, I, I started the stock exchange. So this sign taught me something new. It's talking about the elevator break. Something I think we take for granted until the moment we're stuck in the elevator. But apparently, at the World's Fair in 1853, they displayed the first elevator brake, which apparently had assistance from P.T. Barnum. We would never have skyscrapers if there were not elevator brakes. How cool is that? That's really fascinating. And they have some models of some of the famous New York buildings. So we start with the Flatiron Building. And if you've ever seen my videos in Madison Square Park, that is right across from the Flatiron Building. Then we have the MetLife Building. Then we have the Woolworths Building, which is in downtown near World Trade Center. So if you're ever near World Trade, you can see the World you can see the Woolworths Building. That was a tongue twister. Chrysler Building, which to me is like. The, the baby sibling to the Empire State Building and the Empire State Building. And you could see why I say they're like siblings. Look at that. These are really nice models. We're entering the TV and radio era. Ooh, there's a lot of electricity in here. There's a Tesla coil involved. Oh, what's, what's Roy doing? Oh no, Roy is causing mischief and electrocuting himself. Not really, not really. There's a radio key. And these are all these different radios they have on display right here. We've got my little microphone here, so you can be like, I-O-D-E-N-T. Hey, ho, the man, you day for day. You've both got your style, but brother, you're never fully dressed without a smile. They have this wall of Radio Hall of Fame. And who did I listen to growing up? Yep, Elvis Duran. Howard Stern was around too, but 
I will admit to listening to Elvis Duran. So there's this section of TV shows that feature in New York, and do you know where we are? Do you know whose kitchen we're in? Hey, hey Roy, whose kitchen are we in? Whose kitchen are we in? We are in the honeymooners kitchen. Yeah. Hi, Oscar. Look, I found my buddy Oscar. How are you doing today? Oh, no. I scared him off. Shoot. Ah, finally. My bowl of liver and sardine gumbo has come off. Anybody out there care to try that? He has, he has liver and sardine gumbo, and he's offering to share. Um, I don't really like liver. I mean, sardines, maybe. No, you can enjoy your gumbo. Oh, look, it's the late show. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go host the late show. So, welcome to the late show with Mercury. I would like to introduce my first guest, the couch. I, I don't have a guest, but how cool is I, I could be the next late night host. Letterman's gone, Jimmy Fallon, look out. Mercury's next. This next area is about fashion. Fashion, turn to the left, fashion. Entering the music section. And we're talking like the Ed Sullivan show and Beatlemania. This is just so classically NY, like all of the 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 posters taped onto the walls of you know construction walls. You know, we see those, you know, stenciled post no bills. But, I mean, CBGBs? Yeah, I love it. Just don't, don't use the bathroom there. I wouldn't use that bathroom. If you know, you know. It's the village people. Yo, YMCA. Yeah. <laughs> We found a hip hop gallery. So we have uh, the notorious B.I.G.'s little sweatsuit right here. What else we got set up? On to the movies. The kinetoscope reproduction. So let's see. Oh, there's dogs boxing. Look at that. I found dogs boxing. They have little boxing gloves and everything. The stage door. We're going to the stage door on Broadway. If I walk into a room and there's Phantom playing, I know I'm in the right place.
58 soon. What? We're excited that you're going to be spending this New Year's Eve with us on this monumentous night. It is the first ever televised New Year's Eve ball drop in Times Square. Yes, get excited for that. You'll be witnessing that from the... Yeah, that's what I want. You'll be witnessing it from the 27th floor observation deck with my favorite news anchor and hopefully yours, Robert Trout. If you see him, tell him I did a good job. He's my boss. Because of the storm, the passenger elevator is actually not working. So you won't be walking up 27 flights of stairs. That would be insane. We do have an equally fun and pretty safe freight elevator for you all. So right this way! Here it comes. Uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the building manager. We are aware of an issue with freight elevator number one. We'll get you up to the 27th floor, don't worry. You'll be on your way to Sky Studios. Is that okay? That's what I said, I don't want anybody in the freight elevator! Oh, we got the elevator break work! Oh, this is on? Okay. All right, ha have a good night, everybody. Like I said, we're going to Good evening. Uh-oh. Going back up. So I wasn't able to film on the ride portion, but it was so great. You go in and they line you up and you sit in your corresponding seat and the seats, they're, they're all in a row and you have a seat belt on and any loose articles have to be put into a cubby. You can't take cameras out, you can't, your phones have to be in your pocket. And then the seats lean back a little bit and then it rotates around to like this huge IMAX style screen. And it's, it's like a love letter to New York. It shows all the different areas of New York. It goes through different seasons. So there's like Thanksgiving and New Year and Times Square. And it, it was just absolutely delightful. So I think that we're at the end. So let's head out, see if there's anything else. And yeah. So that was so much fun. That was a great experience. I think the way it was described was very accurate. It starts with a film. And the film is narrated by Jeff Goldblum. So A plus bonus points for that. And it really just sort of goes through the history of New York with a real focus on Times Square. And this was just absolutely, absolutely delightful. I'd also say take your time looking through the exhibit. There's a lot of really great information that's in the museum section of this exhibit. So take your time. A lot of the people in our group were like rushing through it. There was so, it was so great. Like I, I learned how P.T. Barnum was part of making the elevator break. I didn't know that before. That was all I, you know, so take your time. There's stuff to be learned. And then at the very end, that's when the ride section of it happens. And, you know, just like very similar to Soren at Disney, you know, it's the same type of thing. And you're just getting an aerial perspective of New York City through different seasons, different events, and just an all around great time. So I would definitely recommend coming here. And with that, I am done for the day. And I will see you all tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.